Now here's what I want to ask you. First of all, uh, to get full information, like you were mentioning the Walker bullet, that bullet was dismissed by Walker as not the bullet at all that should have been put in, the, in evidence because it was a copper jacketed bullet and uh, a steel jacketed bullet is what Walker picked up in the house. So he actually objected to that being used by the HSCA. So uh, when you're considering that, I mean, we need a full explanation why this evidence can be discarded. Um, the other is that, although Marina, how many witnesses do you have to have before you will accept a new witness such as myself? I have witnesses that I knew Lee Oswald and can verify that he did not have a rifle at all in New Orleans. How many witnesses do you have to have before you'll accept me just because I, they uh, said things when I first spoke out from McAdams and all that and they picked that up and carried it as if I had no uh, verification uh, ability to verify who I am. So how many witnesses do you need before I would be accepted as a witness in your case? I, you know, I think it would be just um, people have personal knowledge. If you have personal knowledge. I have personal knowledge. And, you know, we would establish you have personal knowledge and then you could testify that Lee did not have, you know. Uh, yes, I can. For example, Lee told me that the Operation to Kill Kennedy was called a big event. And I spoke of that in 2003 in the Love Affair. And E. Howard Hunt came out with that in two, January 2004, saying that was the name of the operation. So I have a lot of internal evidence like that. So, I mean, but we would certainly, when we're ready to go, we'll certainly, you know. Well, it's important, yeah. and I'd, of course, like to join your organization. I hope everybody here will do so. Thank and, you. you know, if you know, so if you know local lawyers, uh, particularly when we get to Texas, um, I think we, we may have, a, we have one law school so far in Houston that's interested. Um, but uh, when it gets to the point where we're going to file the petition uh, for the court of inquiry, um, you know, it's going to be very important to have Tom Blackwell going to help us. Uh, he knows a lot of judges. This is this is a discretionary action. You're not, the court is not required to accept the petition. So we have to find a judge that's going to be receptive to this. And um, so anyway, we're going to be reaching out to people that have contacts um, and, you know, it's going to, we're, we're, this is going to be a, a big effort. All right, thank okay. you very much. Okay. Robert. Hey, Larry. Um, hey, Larry. Um, of course, it's, it's an honor to have you here. It's also an honor to have Peter Dale Scott yes. uh, gracing us with his presence, a uh, longtime legend in JFK research. Uh, you know, you can do both. You can have trials to potentially exonerate Lee Harvey Oswald, who I know was innocent. Or you can also have trials to indict the people who actually did it. In my opinion, Lyndon Johnson and, and U.S. intelligence, okay? So it doesn't have to be one or the other. So the question I have for you is um, about this getting that ridiculous plaque down, indicting Lee Harvey Oswald that's uh, over in Oak Cliff. Um, what do you think about that? Well, we talked about that last night. I mean, not, not being from Texas, from Dallas, I wasn't aware of that. So um, we'll, you know, we'll have to bring it up to the, you know, you have to understand Bill Simpich and I, and maybe a handful of lawyers, we're doing this pro bono. We all have our own practices and we're doing this pro bono. So to the extent that we get more help, um, and you don't have to be a lawyer for this particular issue. So to the extent that that's something that the members want to do, and I think that's a good, a good start, um, you know, we, we could do it. We just don't have any resources right now. We're going to start, you know, we just formed last week after a year of discussions. Good morning, Larry. Uh, there's a few of us here from the UK, and also the Kennedy assassination has got international interest, etc. Other than joining the, the kind of the organization, is there anything that you think people from overseas can do to help and assist this going forward? You know what the obvious answer is? <laughs> Versus, versus uh, to support us financially. Um, actually, you know, if you look at the, uh, the cables that went back and forth between the US and Europe, right? You know, the major, it looks like the major concern after the assassination was, you know, what, what is Europe's response gonna be? We were the leader of the free world at the height of the Cold War. And it looks like, you know, they were really concerned about this was gonna make us look like a banana republic. In fact, if you look at Vincent, Vincent Bielgozzi's book, around page 1082 or something, you can understand 
I read his whole book, and I had actually comments, I argued with him throughout the whole book. He's a typical lawyer, just writing arguments against him. Um, but you could see the way, he has some sort of perverted sense of patriotism. He just felt that this, this could not happen in America. That if this happened in America, that makes us no different from the Europeans or the Caribbean, Latin American, you know, just, it means that all our institutions are corrupt. Yeah. And, and it was, <laughs> but I mean, but this is like, you hear about American exceptionalism. This is, a, this is, a, this is what is at the heart of the mainstream media and those who support the lone nut theory that this can't be what happens in America. We are different, we're special. And that's why he could not, he looks through the filter glasses. This is, this is the myth, the mythology of our country. And I, I, I'm American, I love my country. I, my, my family came from Italy and Germany. And you know, I could not be, I could not, I was the first generation that went to college. So, you know, this is a great country, great opportunity, great potential, but this is what, what people just cannot look, it's like people that have a mental illness, it, it's so hard to, to say, yes, I've hurt somebody. You know, it's very hard to be introverted, to look at yourself. And as a country, we can't look at ourselves this way. But we need your support um, to the extent that, you know, uh, you can get the word out there, we can get more members, and who knows, maybe we can, you know, get some support in Europe, and, you know, we're, we're, right now we have limited resources. And if we're gonna do what Robert asked and, and what Peter asked, we need more help. You know, we just have a, a, we just have a, a bunch of directors right now. We need members to, to help us join in this effort. Okay, thank you.